guys, uh, we're here and one dog is here, the other dog is there. As always, there might be some snoring. She literally just started snoring. Sue me. Shh. Your eyes are open, you're awake. Why are you snoring? I'm gonna try really hard to make this video not excruciating. So me to watch. Um, but basically, I just had my 28th birthday a few days ago and I want to share with you guys what I did, what I got and also a really special present that I got for myself. Um, oh my god, she just farted. <sighs> okay, so just a warning, if the video cuts and there's no apparent reason it's because my dog is farting and is very very audible and I'm not going to subject you guys to that so I just had my 20th birthday a few days ago and I want to share with you guys what I did and where I went and also a present that I got for myself which I'm so happy with as well as um a small what's in my bag I think I want to do especially because I was traveling and the things I put in my bag are different from the usual everyday things and you know everyone loves a good what's in my bag video so I thought I'd do a sizable portion of the video dedicated to that um, the first thing I want to show you guys I'll have a separate video somewhere here is this ring and I gifted it to myself it's a 18 karat yellow gold 70s slash art deco inspired ring that I designed from the CAD, which is like a computer generated image for jewelers, um, for the goldsmith to actually like cast the ring. And I made the CAD, I, had, I made like the initial sketches, I sourced the center diamond myself, it's a champagne asher cut diamond and then there are four baguette diamonds on the side and I'm so freaking happy with how this ring turned out. I have designed a few pieces of jewelry before as well and I've had it made by a goldsmith who I am really close to and now I'm considering starting a business because um, I love all the jewelry that I've designed and made so far and the reason I do it is because everything i see on the market is just not quite exactly what i'm looking for so for me it's easier to just like make it myself and get exactly what i'm looking for so yeah i'm very very happy about this ring it's a diamond that comes with the documents this one is certified from the igi which is the international gemological institute so it will like kind of explain what kind of diamond it is whatever whatever anyways I just wanted to share this ring with you because I think it's so beautiful and it's so unique. I love the fact that it's not a common ring style that people are getting these days. So I've been wearing this one and I'm not wearing a wedding band with it just because I think it looks better on its own like that. I'm really considering starting like a designing business, custom jewelry, something, I don't know. But yeah, I'm so happy with it and I think it's like something I'm really passionate about. Of course, this is fine jewelry. It's um, not costume jewelry. It's 18 karat gold, but there are other options, you know, platinum, 14 karat, 10 karat, whatever. I just prefer 18 karat gold because I like all my gold to be the same tone. But anyways, I wanted to share that with you. And now, before I talk about everything I bought, I want to show you guys what I put in my bag when I'm traveling. So first of all, this is my Prada bag that I bought last September, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't like have an official name. Prada doesn't really name all their bags. This is a Omamori that I bought in Kiyoshihoji. It's just like a um, protective talisman or something that a lot of Japanese people keep on their bags or in their pockets or something. And the one I got is for, oh, I don't remember. I think I got it for like family safety. So it's like health of the household, safety of the family, whatever. 
so I have that hanging on this bag. I don't usually have omamori on my bags, but I just thought it was really cute um, as like a pop of color and also like something, I don't know, this bag just kind of gives me the same geometric kind of shape and vibes that a lot of Japanese architecture has and is like implements. So I thought it was like a nice touch to hang this on my bag. So this bag has three compartments and it is deceptively roomy. Um, we'll start with the first one. So I have in here a film camera. I don't think I've ever shared this with you guys, but I really, really love film photography, specifically 35 millimeter film. So when I'm traveling, I always carry uh, my Fuji Class A W with me. This is a simple point and shoot, but it's perfect for travel because it's so compact. Even though it is small, it is quite bulky as a camera. So that's what I have in the first compartment here, along with just one steam eye mask. Uh, this is freaking amazing. If you're on a plane or in, a, in the car for a long time or on the train, I really recommend going on Amazon and Googling Japanese steam eye masks. Basically, you just open it up and the oxygen in the air activates the, I don't know what exactly. There's some um, mineral or material in this packet that activates with oxygen and gets really warm. And you put it on your eyes and it feels so amazing. I really struggle with sleeping sometimes, but if I have this on, I'm out in 10 minutes. It's amazing. So I have that here with my camera and let's get into the middle. I can't speak well today, the middle pocket. So it's quite full because I haven't emptied it since I got back. I'll just show you what I have. <laughs> I have a huge bag of Jelly Bellies. I bought this in Berlin and I haven't, um, taken it out I actually forgot about it I like chose the flavors myself um but yeah this is usually not something I carry in my bag <clears throat> and then I have this is a very destroyed Celine hair claw pouch and in it I have my earphones these are the Bang und Olufsen earphones I think it's called the Bail Pillet oh my goodness I think they're called the Bale Play EX and they're really great in terms of sound quality. I gave my AirPods away and got these in exchange. I really also like the fact that it's like a champagne gold color case and it's aluminum so it feels really high quality. So yeah, these are my earphones. I think they're so pretty too. What else I have in here is Dr. Bronner's um, hand sanitizing spray. I have Kleenex because I'm kind of a bit sick. <clears throat> I have like a um, leaky nose or stuffed nose. I'm not sure which one it is. It changes like every hour, but I've been getting over it for the past like three weeks. I have um, a display cleaner because I am very anal about tech my tech accessories and Stuff, so I need to like wipe the screens all the time and I have um, foot blister plasters because my feet are consistently ruined from all my shoes I have this really beautiful amazing compact mirror it used to be like a powder compact that I bought from an antique stall at um, the antique market in Covent Garden in London. So it's a mirror compact and I have this, which is one of my favorite purchases from Celine ever. I think it's so excessive in terms of price and being ridiculous, but it's a hair comb from Celine, um, made in Italy, whatever, but I just really wanted it for the case. I think it's so cute. Like it's just like a little something extra, you know, extra luxurious. And I'm telling you, this bag is like a black hole. 
I have two jewelry polishing cloths from Muji. These are 100% better than any polishing cloth that you'll find on Amazon. Go to Muji and get these. Um, just like technology stuff, I'm really obsessed with keeping my jewelry really shiny and in great quality, so that's why I have two of these. And in the same vein, I have a sunglass um, lens wipe. And this, I'm not sure if I recommend it actually. It's the loop earplugs that I've been seeing in Instagram ads, like and everywhere basically so I bought them I thought I'd use them like I don't know at some point but I don't know if they really work I haven't really been anywhere to test them out but I just bought them they're cheap like 20 euros but yeah so I have those and we're not done yet oh I have a battery because I never have a chance to throw those away and I have a clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills and two perfumes in the middle. So this one is almost done, which is why I'm carrying it because I just want to finish it. It's the Alien perfume from Mugler. And this one is um, Mojave Ghost by Biredo. By Rido, Biredo. In the leather um carry case which i really love and this this perfume is amazing mojave 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 ghost i love it okay we're almost at the end so the last pocket is also um just a testament to maybe me having uh issues with germs and now my dog is sleep talking so I have um, two sanitizing wipes and that's everything that was in that bag. A lot more interesting than what I usually put in my bag. So I just wanted to show you guys that and let me put everything back now. Okay, so now onto the main portion of my video, which is showing you guys my birthday haul. To preface, um, I'm obsessed with Barbie right now. I won't even be able to see the movie until August because my partner doesn't want to see it with me and in my city they don't show it in English anywhere only the dubbed version like the dubbed German version which I refuse to watch so um, I'm just like kind of enjoying my obsession with pink even though I can't see the freaking movie so that's the theme of everything I bought, except for the Hermes thing. The first thing I want to show you guys is this. Um, it is just a simple, cute nylon makeup bag in this really cute powder pink color. I don't know the actual name. It's just their makeup bag. So simple enough. The lining is typical Prada, except it's pink, which I think is so cute. Guys, I'm just obsessed with pink and I think this is very cute. I'm not going to like wear it as a handbag, but it's a nice touch, I guess. Um, it's just for my makeup because I don't know if you've noticed, but my brows have gotten a lot smaller since the beginning of my channel and that's because I used to have microblading and I'm in the process of removing it. I've done three laser sessions and they've turned my the skin under my brown brow hairs neon yellow. I don't want to get into it because it actually makes me cry, but I can easily cover it up with like a little bit of concealer. Just the next step that I have is uh, acid removal, which is like how, basically they go over the old remaining pigment with a tattoo machine and salicylic or glycolic acid and it really burns and hurts apparently but I'm just so over having these microbladed brows. You can't even see it. Basically what you see right now is my natural brow shape. It's just under the concealer. It's really yellow, like neon yellow. So I'm in the process of doing that, um, which means I have to wear makeup every day, at least here. I don't wear makeup anywhere else. I literally just put concealer here and um, 
brow product because if I put concealer, my brows turn skin colored. So that's why I wanted a nice makeup bag because if I have to put myself through this shitty situation, at least I can do it with Prada. And that's why I got this. Next, um, I'm gonna skip the Hermes until the end because it's not even pink and it's literally just me being desperate for a Kelly or a Birkin. So I got two things from Dior. They're both pink. We'll start with the small one. This I wanted for a while. It's a, well, I'll show you first. It's the cutest little smartphone case. Um, there's also like a crossbody chain, which is inside. I just haven't used it yet because I wanted to like show you guys. So it's in, I believe this is lambskin, but I'm not sure I will correct myself if I'm wrong. Champagne gold hardware, which is very beautiful. And Dior uses this hardware color a lot. There's also an option to have it handheld if you don't want it across your body. But basically in the mornings when I'm walking my dogs um, and like for their toilet, I'm usually in my pajamas and I don't have pockets. So I can't bring my phone with me. So this is the solution. It's literally a dog walking bag, which I feel so stupid saying. But of course, I'm also going to wear it like on the daily. Like if I have a complicated bag where it's too much trouble to pull my phone out because I'm quite often like using my phone for Google Maps or like WhatsApp or whatever, then I would just like pop it in here. That's the leather chain, um, metal chain and have it crossbody and then I'll have a separate bag for all my other stuff. So I thought that was like a really great idea and this was the reason that I went into Dior. Of course, I didn't plan to get it in this color until I saw it and then um, my soul was just drawn to this really beautiful mauve pinky, purpley color. It is like a very lilac -y pink color in real life. I'm not sure how it shows up on camera but I think it's so beautiful. And that was it, I just wanted to leave. But then my partner saw this bag and he was like, you have to try it, you have to try it. And I have a love-hate relationship with the Lady Dior bag, just because I think the top flap of the leather version is extremely annoying when you're trying to get into the bag especially because if it's like a handheld bag and you only have one free hand you have to like keep the flap open and try to like find whatever you want so even though i think the bag is beautiful i think that upper flap is like the most annoying thing ever so i've been known to like constantly try lady dior's and then never get it just because i can't just i just i, I would like to cut that top flap off that's what i would like to do but anyways Without further ado, here is my new bag. But the reason I got this bag is because there is no top flap. It's just like this, um, in Japanese we call it kinchaku. It's like a, a, drawstr a drawstring bag. So there's no top flap, which is freaking amazing and let me just untie it i haven't like even opened this bag since getting it because i wanted to open it with you guys so i'll also take out this part okay listen it's not even my fault because i came in for this and he made me try this and i have to say it's pretty freaking cute it's obviously a spring and summer only bag but I think it's so eye-catching and I love the pink. As I said, I'm obsessed with pink right now. Blame Barbie. But yeah, I think it's amazing. I love this like elephant brown color of the leather. And of course there's a shoulder strap. I don't know if I'll be using it much to be honest, but here it is. I think I want to carry it handheld like this. I am obsessed with it. 
So just to like introduce the bag or like explain the bag, the drawstring is not detachable. It's like sewn into the bag and it's quite roomy. And because it's not black, it's pretty um, easy to see what's inside. Actually, there's pockets, which I didn't even know. And between the drawstring and the basket, there is a leather lining. I'm not sure if the leather lining goes all the way through the bag, but at least at the top portion, there's a leather lining. And yeah, of course, uh, because it's a natural material, it's going to have like some, not uh, defects, but just discrepancies. Like maybe you'll find like a few um, loose fibers, but that's just normal. I like double checked with the sales associate. I always seem like such a, I don't know, like an annoying client probably asking like, oh, is this normal? Is this normal? Is this normal? But I just want to be like double, triple sure before I buy a 5,000 year old bag that's made out of a freaking basket. But yeah, so this is my new bag. It's pretty lightweight. If you put the shoulder strap on, it's pretty heavy. I would say like, this is like 70% of the weight of the bag. So you're adding like 70% weight, but just like this, it's really lightweight. And I thought it would be so cute to have this as a crossbody and have this bag as a handheld bag. And I'm so excited to use it now that I've unboxed it. I did honestly have some reservations about buying it just because it's not a leather bag and spending this much money on a basket, I just felt a bit silly, but to be honest, I think it looks a lot more interesting and impactful than the leather Lady Dior's. And honestly, if I want Lady Dior in leather, I'll just buy it another time, but yeah. So this is the main event of my birthday I think she's so cute and interesting and now I'll show you what I got at Hermes and that will be the end of the video sorry I got a bit hungry So this is what I got from Hermes. I swear they're doing it on purpose. They're snoring on purpose. And I hope it doesn't bother you guys, but I can't do anything about it. Sumi, shh, stop. You're awake, why are you snoring? You're looking at me, why are you snoring? Hey, no snoring please. Let's just get it over with because she's gonna get louder. This is the sweater t-shirt or like wool t-shirt that I got from Hermes. It has like a drum or tambourine applique. And yeah, it's really simple. I thought it goes pretty well with my hair color. I can't wear it now, it's too freaking hot, but I'll wear it in September or something. And I'm gonna end the video because I know that some of you guys really, really hate my dog snoring. And I know that I can't do anything about it, so I'm just going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.